And I'm Lauren, also on the Incredibles. Today is May 12th, 2017. And it's a purple day. And we were just practicing for the lip dub. I think we've got it down. Oh, yeah. Now let's fall it on over to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, let's see those birthdays. Houston W. of the Olympians, and, and no, staff. no staff birthdays today. Let's see those weekend birthdays. Oh, <laughs> you went the wrong way. Okay. Weekend birthdays are Mia D of the Legends, Josie S of the Thunderbirds, Ty S of the Heroes, and Mrs. Wyman. Don't forget to get your birthday pencil from your home-based teacher. Speaking of which, let's see what that birthday pencil's up to. The birthday pencil's hanging out with Lady Glitter Sparkles. That's fun. I like the movie trolls. I it's like one of my pizza. faves. I do too. Now on to weather with Willie. I'm super fly, super duper fly, super duper fly. Me, I'm super fly, super duper fly, super duper fly. Me, I'm super fly, super duper fly, super duper fly, super duper fly. Take a set of Wednesday on into everyone's favorite Wednesday game, but being played on Friday. Snaps is the name of the game. Snaps are on. Listen closely. Pay attention. Snaps are off. Did you get it? <laughs> By golly, that was it. All right, moving on. Weather, it's 58 degrees. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All week, gorgeous. I'm mean, keeping it simple. This is the nice seven-day forecast. Sun is going to be shining. Mid, uh, upper 70s here, lower 80s. It's nice. I'm moving on. Doesn't get any better than that. Weather is going to be nice. Joke of the day. Always love these. Where do trolls make movies? Somewhere around bridges, maybe? I thought trolls were on bridges. In Trollywood. Tr Trollywood. I don't, I'm, I'm not that smart. Did I read it wrong? They're making fun of me. It's cool. I'm used to it. All right, of course, weather is brought to you by the trolls, which I hear the movie. Did anyone see the movie already? Did you guys see the movie? Is there any good? Mr. Calvin said it was awful, but that's Mr. Calvin, so don't take his word for it. On into uh, the winner of the lip dub, because that's what it was. The uh, uh, snaps was lip dub. So, winner is 23 emails coming in. I'm going to click, do I click on a regular, like the first one, or just anyone? The first one. I'm being told I have to click on the person who said it first. Oh my goodness, that's weird. Mrs. Goss, home base. Alyssa B. said lip dub. You are the smartest kid on this Friday morning. And speaking of the lip dub, Mr. Mo, I believe, is going to come in now and speak about the lip dub. So pay close attention. Eyes on the screen. There's lots of important instructions to follow. And Dr. Ivy's coming in after that. So I'm out. Hey there, Plaza. Um, <laughs> lip dub talk real quick. So everyone really needs to listen um, and pay very close attention. So today is a lip dub. Um, if you are one of the singers in the lip dub, you need to get out of class to get ready at 1230. Start getting ready as soon as you get ready, then you need to get down to the large gym and we need you down to the large gym as soon as possible. So definitely by one o'clock. Um, we'd like to get the lip dub started as soon as possible. I know we're on a 115 schedule, but a lot of times teams 
kind of start decorating towards the end of that last block. And so if we can get the lip dub started really quickly, that would be awesome. Um, Cause we like to try to get three runs in, but this year's lip dub is probably one of the most like extensive, crazy lip dubs that we've done. It's nine minutes long, which is a very long lip dub. We don't usually have them that long. So we may only get two in. And what's really important um, about this lip dub stuff is it has to be perfect. Like each run has to be perfect. It's not a thing where like, oh, Mr. Mo, you can just go edit this part out and fix it. I can't, like that's what a lip dub is. It's one shot, you can't fix things if stuff goes wrong. So here are a couple really important things for everybody um, that, that's participating in the lip dub, which is the whole school. Um, probably the first thing is when you're in the hallway, um, your instinct is gonna be to scream and be loud, right? Ah! Okay, you can't, you can't do that. You have to act like you're screaming, which looks like this. That's what that, okay. So you don't hear anything because if you guys are loud, our singers can't hear the music and then it's just gonna be screwed up from the very beginning. So you cannot be screaming. You have to pretend and fake scream is, is what you need to do. You need to remember anytime you see the camera, you see me walking through the camera, you're on camera. So don't just be standing there, right? I mean, do stuff. That's part of what makes lip dubs cool. A lot of times you guys think, oh, I'm not one of the singer people, so mm, I'm just... But part of what makes lip dubs awesome is what the people are doing on the side. Like that's part of what makes it really cool and, and makes people wanna go back and um, watch it to just to see what everyone else is doing on the side. So uh, make sure if the camera's on that, that you're doing stuff um, and that you don't stop until the camera's turned away from you or, or whatever. Um, so don't be loud so our singers can hear. And then another big one is people are, like our singers a lot of times are walking backwards. Um, and so they cannot see what's behind them. If you're up, up, someone that's up on the wall, do not get out in the middle of their lane, in the middle of the hallway to where you might trip them. Um, you need to be out of their way. If you're throwing things, don't throw things at their face, throw things over them. You need to throw them over the top of them. Um, and, and guys, if you're doing some of these things, we're, like I said, we're doing a couple runs, you'll be asked to sit out um, if, if you guys are doing some of the things that, that I've asked you not to do. Um, so I, I think those are, are the big ones, is don't, uh, don't scream, don't be loud, don't get in their way, don't throw things at their face. And then finally, at the very end, um, once we've passed your section, you guys are gonna head outside um, to the basketball courts. And then everyone's gonna be out on the basketball courts to end the lip dub. And we're gonna get a, a shot of the entire school. I think we're even gonna have a, a, a drone flying over the top so you guys can be looking up at the drone. It should be pretty cool. Um, if we can pull it off, but that a lot of that's going to depend um, on you guys. And so what that means is there's going to be two runs where we're going outside and then everyone's coming back in. We're going outside and everyone's coming back in. You have to behave. You have to be smart with your decisions. I think that's what Dr. Ivy's going to touch on just a little bit. So hopefully we can have a good, awesome lip dub. Um, and and uh, it's, a, it's a team effort. So everyone needs to be all in for that. Dr. Ivy. Thank you, Mr. Mo. He, he stole my thunder right there. It's a team effort, and that's what is, I think, the best part of the lip dub, that everybody's working together. So no matter what your role is, you need to be appropriate, you need to be following school rules. Um, when we talk about, hey, you can do something crazy on the side, well, it's being appropriate, but having a good time. So make sure that you are following those expectations. Now, the lip dub isn't until this afternoon. And I know some of you came and you have part of your costume on. Teachers, this is for you. My expectation is if it does not cause a disruption and part of the costume's already on, maybe it's a tutu, maybe it's a wig, maybe it's a certain kind of hat. If it's not a disruption, it's fine. But if it's a disruption, then teach, whoever the classroom teacher is, then that is your discretion to say, okay, we need to, um, you need to take the hat off or the bandana off. These cannot be things that disrupt the learning environment because today is a school day. It's not a designated ho national holiday for lip dub. We get to have that fun this afternoon, but we need to stay focused this morning and all day we stay focused on the expectations and school rules. That can never change. So please make sure that you are participating in an appropriate manner, following directions, being quiet when we're running through 
um, the filming and that you're not pushing, shoving, any of that will, will have you eliminated from the lip dub. So, and we'll also have a consequence for disciplinary action. So please make sure that you're thinking before you make um, maybe a very poor decision this afternoon. We just want to have a good time and show great team effort. So here's to a fabulous day. Plaza, back to the newscasters. Thanks, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Mo, and Dr. Ivy for those announcements. So I'll be pretty wiped out after field day and all that dub. So what's for lunch? Well, today's lunch choices are manager choice entree or tomato or chicken cheese baked potato. Yeah. Isn't the premium meal pasta bar? Oh yeah, and the sides are tomato capri salad, sugar snap peas, and fruit cocktail. Sounds good to me. The Park Hill softball team is hosting a skills camp this summer. You can find a registration form by the office. Now let's drop a marble in the jar and join us in our sign up. It's a great day to be a tiger. Rawr.